coming up on Kylie Makes It. We say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. today. Oh, no matter how you are, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we're here together. Did you hear that? I think it was my doorbell. I wonder what that is. Let's go check it out. Come on. A package. Do you want to open it up with me? All right. all the art supplies for our next project we're gonna make together. A bottle. Some glitter. Beads. A box. Green sand. <laughs> More beads and liquid watercolors. This is gonna be really fun. I can't wait to make it with you. Man, it's so cool that there are people whose job it is to deliver this right to my house. I am so grateful for those people. I don't even need to go to the store. I just get everything I need to make amazing art with you. It's a little sad that I never get to say thank you to them. I have an idea. Before we make this project, we'll do that another time. Let's make a big thank you for all the people who help us every day. Do you want to? Okay. I think we should make a thank you window on my big window downstairs so that when they drive by or they come to my door, they see it and they think, you're welcome. <laughs> all right, let's go. Welcome to the studio. We're starting on my computer today. Do you like to make art on your computer? Have you ever tried it? There's a program called Google Drawings that's free to use online. Talk to your parents or an adult and see if they'll help you with it. Okay, let's start. I'm going to make signs on my computer that then I'll print out that are going to say thank you to all the people who help me by driving different vehicles to my house and doing different things. I'm so grateful for all these people. Okay, I have a drawing and I've inserted four kinds of trucks. A food truck, a mail truck, a delivery truck, and a garbage truck. I'm going to make a shape over here in my drawing. I think I'll choose a circle. I'll go up to the circle right there. And when I do this, I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my computer. I'm gonna click shift, and I'm going to take my mouse and drag it. This will make the circle bigger and bigger, but because I held down shift, it'll stay a perfect circle instead of getting smushed into an oval. Here we go. Cool! I'm gonna put it in the center of my drawing. See that road line? That shows me that it's in the center. Perfect. I don't think I want this circle blue. I think I want to change the color of this circle to yellow. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here to this paint bucket tool and click yellow. Ooh, perfect. I love that circle. Now I'm gonna choose one of these trucks that I inputted in here already. If you wanna use the files for these trucks, go to kyliemakesit.com backslash kids and you can find them there. All right. I'm gonna pick the mail truck. I'm gonna drag it over onto my circle. Wait a minute, where did it go? 
Oh, it's underneath the circle. I need to make it so that the circle goes behind and the truck comes in front. The way that you do this is you go up to arrange, order, bring to front. Boom, there it is. I want my truck a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna click the corner, hold down the shift key. That's gonna keep it to scale. And drag, 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 drag it bigger. Oh, perfect. I love it. Now I wanna put the words thank you on it. So I'm gonna find this text box tool. Click, you see the T in there? Then I'm gonna click and drag for where I wanna put my text. Oh, that little line came up. That means it's time to type. Thank you. Now I'm going to change this font. That means the design of the writing. I do that by going up here. Look at all of these options. Let's choose this one. Oh, I like that. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go up to these numbers and click it until I like the size. Oh, that looks perfect. Love it. Let's change the color of that font and then I think we're about done. I'm gonna highlight the font by clicking and dragging over with my mouse. Go up here to text color and change it to, I think blue. I love it. I'm going to design circles just like this with each one of my trucks and then we'll print them out. Let's do it. Now that our designs are done on the computer, we get to print them out so we can put them on our thank you window. Do you know how printers work? They have little cartridges inside that have ink in them and they make really tiny little dots really close together. They're so close together that when it gets printed out, it looks solid. Isn't that amazing? Let's print this. I love seeing designs I made on the computer come out on paper. All those little dots. Can you imagine how tiny they must be and how close together they must be to make all this color in this picture? That's amazing. You know what? That gives me a really good idea of how we should make our big thank you window. There's a kind of art called mosaic where you take tiles or stones that are individual pieces, kind of like little dots, and you put them right next to each other so that when you step back and you look at the whole mosaic all together, it is one big picture. Wouldn't that be a good way to make our thank you window? I don't have any tiles around. I know what we should do. I'm going to take my scrap construction paper and cut it into squares, like tiles. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna do so many colors so that we can make an amazing design on the window. I got a lot of cutting to do. I'll see you down there. We're here at the thank you window. I have all the supplies we need to make a huge thank you sign right on the window. Here's what we need. Clear contact paper to make it sticky. Masking tape to stick the stick to the window. And all the squares and rectangles that we cut out in all the different colors so we can make it beautiful. You're also going to need the signs with the trucks on them that we printed. Ready? Okay. Let's make it. Unroll the contact paper to the length of your window and then cut it. Put small pieces of masking tape up around the contact paper, even before you peel the back off so that it stays in place and you can get the back off much easier. Slowly peel the back off of your contact paper. Remember, you want the sticky side facing you. That means the backing part will also be facing you. It'll be easy to remove. Retape it as you go to keep it in place. Now we're ready to stick on our signs. Thank you. You wanna put them facing out so that people can see it from outside. 
if you're going to put letters on your window sign, you have to make sure to put your letters backwards facing you so that they read the right way from the outside. A mirror image. Use the rectangles of paper to make a design for your mosaic thank you window. Getting close. Last square. Yes. It's done. Our thank you window is done. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could make a thank you window for everybody in my life that helps me and my family every day. I don't really have that many windows. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. What if we went back up to my studio and made thank you cards that I could send to some of those people in the mail? Do you want to? Let's do it. Welcome to the studio. Are you ready to make some thank you cards? I am. You know, one really good way to make a thank you card or anything over and over and over again when you need a lot of them is a printer. Like you make it on a computer and then you print it out and you can print it out as many times as you want. There's a kind of art that you make by hand called print making and it does kind of the same thing. These are special tools that I use sometimes when I want to make a print. This is called a brayer. This is a tool that will carve into whatever I'm making my print out of. You can make prints out of lots of different materials like wood or linoleum. These are linoleum blocks and I like to carve into them because they're nice and soft. You can also, and this is what we're gonna do together today, carve into styrofoam. That's right, this is a styrofoam plate. This is printing ink. It's made especially for making prints. It's a little thicker and stickier than regular paint. But if you don't happen to have some printing ink around, you can also use just regular acrylic paint or whatever kind of thicker paint you have. This is the size of my card. So I'm gonna put it onto my plate and draw around my paper so I can cut my styrofoam to the right size. Now that our styrofoam is cut out, we need to come up with our design that we want our print to look like. I want my card, my print, to say thank you. So, a lot like the window, do you remember? We had to write thank you backwards on our side of the window so that it looked right on the other side where people were going to read it. We have to do that with this print too. We have to write thank you or any words we put on this print backwards. We have to make a mirror image. That way, when we put it on our paper, it'll be the right way so people can read it. Now my card says, thanks. I love how this card looks. This is what it looks like on my side, and here is what it looks like, how it will print. Now, if I were doing this on my linoleum or a wood block, I would use this very sharp carving tool. But I'm just doing this on styrofoam, and maybe not all of you have sharp carving tools at home. So, all you really need for this project is something pointy, like the end of this paintbrush. You could also use a popsicle stick or a toothpick or anything like that. We have two choices we can make when we go to carve out our print. We can either carve away the positive space or the negative space. Here's what that means. Positive space is any place on your picture or composition that the object is. So, if the object of this drawing was this circle, 
the positive space would be right here. Negative space is the area between and around the object. So this whole drawing is about this circle. That's the object. That's a positive space. All of the white is the negative space. Even if this wasn't white, if it was red or blue, it would still be negative space because the drawing is about this circle. The circle is the positive space. For this project, I've decided I'm going to push in my negative space so that all my positive space is what shows up in paint on my card. So I'm gonna take my pointy thing and carve out and make dents in any area that is white on this card. You just need to push down. Ooh, that makes a good squeak. Okay, it's time to make our prints. I made this stamp, which you saw, where I put the negative space, the space between the object, down so that our print would be of the positive space. And I also made a stamp where I pushed the positive space down so that our print, the paint, will be of the negative space, just so we can see the difference. The first step is to put on the ink or the paint. I'll start with ink so you can see what that looks like. Like I said, this is block printing ink. It's pretty thick and sticky. I'm gonna put a little on a palette. I'm just using another styrofoam plate. Do you see how thick it is? It's not runny at all. Then I'm gonna use my brayer to roll it out and get a good coat. Have you ever painted a wall with a paint roller or seen anyone do it? It's kind of what this is like. I'm covering the brayer with a coat of ink. Now I'm gonna take my block and roll the paint over my block. And then I take my card and put it down over the top. Try not to move it around a lot once you get it on there. Then I'm gonna use my hand, or there's tools you can use for this, to make sure that the ink gets all on the paper. And then peel it up, ready? Did it work? It totally worked! Look how cool that looks! I'm gonna show you how to do this without a brayer and with paint. So, you're just going to take some acrylic paint or washable paint, whatever. Thicker is better. You can see how this paint is more runny. It's less thick. It's okay. And then I'm just going to take a paintbrush. Get a very thin amount on your paintbrush and you're just going to paint over your block. Put it over your block. Squish, 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 and peel it up. Did it work? <gasps> I'm going to make seven prints of this card today because I have seven thank you cards that I'm gonna send out. That's right, seven. I could send out a thousand, but there's seven going out in the mail today. I'm gonna send them to some very special people who deserve big thank yous. One of them I'm sending to my sister, Mariah. She works at a hospital, and I am so grateful for people who work at hospitals in all sorts of jobs. Not only does Mariah help people get better in their bodies, she's also really kind to people when they're scared or feeling lonely, and that helps people feel better in their heart. Thanks, Mariah. Thanks, everybody who works at a hospital. The next people I'm going to send thank you cards to are Dax's teachers at school. Their names are Miss Olivia, Miss Lori, Miss Rose, and Miss Dora. Dax loves his teachers, and I do too. Every day, they work hard to take care of him and teach him and love him. And I am so grateful, not just for them, but for all the teachers who are working so hard to make sure that kids are learning and safe. Thank you. The last two cards that I'm gonna send are to two very special friends of ours. 
One's name is Hazel and one's name is Quinn. They're a brother and sister. And their mom told me that they have worked so hard in school this year and that they have been great kids. And you know what? Kids deserve thank yous too. Thanks Hazel, thanks Quinn, and thanks to all my friends out there working really hard in school. Quinn, Hazel, Miss Olivia, Mariah, Miss Lori, Miss Rose, and Miss Dora. Thank you. Let's talk about all the things we did and made together today. Let's see. It all started when we heard the doorbell. Then we went downstairs, opened the door, and what did we find? A box! We brought the box upstairs, opened it up, and do you remember what was inside? Art supplies! Yes, yes, yes! I was so thankful that someone brought this box right to my house so that we would have all the supplies we needed to make our next project. We started thinking together about all the people that help us every day who we never even get to say thank you to because we don't see them. We had an idea. We decided that we were going to make a thank you window. A thank you window, a big window. So that when people drove by my house or came to my door, they saw a big piece of art that said, thank you. We started by making some thank you signs on my computer. Do you remember that? They were circles and they had a mail truck and a food delivery truck and a package delivery truck and a garbage truck on them to symbolize all the people that help in so many ways. Then we printed them out. We went downstairs to my big window and we covered it with two pieces of sticky, sticky contact paper. Do you remember that? We rolled it all the way across my window, here and here. And it was really sticky. So we took pieces of paper and we stuck them right to the window. We put our big circles on it. And then we used squares to write, thank you. We had to write it backwards, remember? So that from outside, it read the right way. <laughs> thank you. We wish that we could say thank you to all the people that help us every day and to all the people we appreciate. Unfortunately, I don't have that many windows. So we decided to use printing to make cards for those people. We made a design on a styrofoam plate. Do you remember that? We pressed into it. Then we had our design and we put paint all on the plate. We covered it up. Then we took our card and we put it right over the top of the plate, peeled it back up and a thank you card. So fun. We opened up our cards and wrote, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you notes inside. And then we went to the mailbox and put them in the mail. There's one more thing I wanna say to you today before we go. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for making art with me. And thank you for being a great friend. You're the best. See you next time. Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe. <laughs>